Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today also I have come up with another topic in engineering surveying. Today I am solving the problem based on labeling, problem based on continuous sloping ground. Before going to the question, friends, if you haven't watched my previous video, then go through it once. I have kept it on playlist also. It will give you more ideas for today's topic. Okay, without delay, let's go for the question. Once uh, let the Let's read the question. We must be very careful in uh, question itself. Uh, on continuous sloping ground, consecutive reading were taken with a 4 meter staff rule out of page of field book and calculate the reduced level if first reading was taken on benchmark having reduced level 100 meter. These are the points. Now, let's see what are the given points. Okay. It is clear that the question is uh, uh, it's on continuous sloping ground and uh, we are given uh, east of 4 meter likewise um, okay reduce level is also given 100 meter and these are the points this is 100 meter okay our uh, east of is at 4 meter that means this is 0 0.55 it is increasing up to 3.765 from here it suddenly decreases that is 0 0.755 then uh, again increases again here 3.245 again decreases and uh, here again 3.890 okay that will be our four side up to four meter only we can go see this point is 3.765 another point is 3.245 and the last point is 3.890 our point is not going above 4 meter that means the point is lying on 3.765 less than 4 meter then these points are 4 side and obviously last point will be 4 side now let's see uh, our intermediate side will be these points and our BS BS will be this point okay just after four side that will be BS just after the four side that will be BS and intermediate side will be this okay this right here first of all 0 0.555 that is BS first point is BS so we will write here 0 0.555 likewise RL, let's write RL first. RL is given 100. Now, how to how to write SI? See, for writing SI, we should add, uh, add RL and BS. That is 100 plus 0 0.555, that is 100.555. Okay. Now, our second point is 1.235, that will be intermediate side. 2.820 also intermediate and 3.765 that is for side fs now 0 0.775 just after the fs that will be bs we'll write here 775 1.695 695 that will be here after that 2.050 again this is fs 3.245 we'll write here immediately after fs that will be bs we'll write here 2.755 that will be intermediate and then obviously last point will be fs okay um, see this uh, 3.765 is one change point this is another change point this is our third change point that is in point let's say in point okay let's uh, write here what are our change point this one is change point one similarly this is change point two okay and this is uh, our in point this is our in point Now let's solve uh, how to solve RL or SI. 
for RL will subtract this from here will subtract and write here okay from this only will subtract this and write here that means 100 100 point 555 minus 1.235 that will be 99.32 99.32 okay for second 100.555 minus 2.820 that will be 97.735 now again we'll minus this and write here 100.555 minus 3.5 Seven six five ninety six point seven nine. There is no point in intermediate side that then we'll simply write this here, this temporary line. So we can say that this is at same point and in same RL. This point. Okay. Now. How to write SI? See, we'll add this and write RL so that our so that our SI will come. Then again, we'll do the same process. Ninety-six point seven nine plus zero point seven seven five. Ninety seven point five six five. Okay. Now again, we'll do the same process. This one will come here negative. We should minus it and write here. We should minus it and write here. Okay, for that, ninety seven point five six five minus one point six nine five. That will be ninety five point. Eight seven. Okay, ninety seven point five six five minus two point zero five zero. That will be ninety five point five one five. Again, ninety seven point five six five minus three point two four five. Ninety four point three two. See here, yeah, three point is coming. Here is two point. You can write zero also, no problem. Now again, the same point is coming. There is no FS, so we'll write here ninety point ninety four point three two only. Okay, because this is again same point, same area. So again here we'll add this and write SI so that from SI we can minus that one. So let's first. Um, at ninety four point three two plus one point five 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 that will be ninety five point eight seven five okay now we'll minus this and write here we'll minus it and write here that will be ninety four point three two minus two point seven five five it will give 94 sorry 95.875 minus 2.55 and 93.12 95.875 minus 3. Point Eight nine zero. That will give ninety one point nine eight five. Okay, guys. Now our problem is over. Now just we have to check. For checking, we do have simple formula. That is summation B S minus summation F S. It's equal to last R L minus first R L. This is last R L. 
his first RL. We have to add all this and write summation BS. We have to add this all and write summation FS. If the condition satisfy, then our problem is correct. Whatever we have done is correct. If no, then we have to check once again from the beginning itself because uh, sometimes minor error will become okay let's add bs 0 0.555 plus 0 0.775 plus 1.555 okay that will give 2.885 minus minus fs 3.5 3.765 plus 3.245 plus 3.890 which is given 10.9 this calls to last array 91.985 first 100 let's minus it what will it give 2.885 minus 10.9 that will give minus 8.015 okay 91.985 minus 100 See, minus 8.015 okay since our left hand side is equals to right hand side we have same value minus 8.015 minus 8.015 so our answer is correct so here negative means our point is uh, from first point to the last point is uh, minus 8.015 friends i hope now you are very much clear about si method i request you to go through such question and practice it once definitely you will know it friend if you haven't subscribed my video yet please please do subscribe today with this i want to wind up the video let's meet in the next video with other interesting problem thank you guys